Do you want to grow more tomatoes in the same growing space? But you don't know where to start. You came to the right place. Because in this video I will tell you all you need to know to grow tomatoes with the help of the square foot gardening method. This method is ideal for everyone that has a small garden and that loves tomatoes like me. Because it allows you to grow more tomatoes in the same growing space. And the beauty of this method is that it's simple. Look at my harvest, the first year practicing the square foot gardening method. But there is one critical problem that we need to address if we want to grow tomatoes in a square foot gardening setup. And this is tomato blight. Because growing tomatoes that close together can in normal circumstances increase drastically the chances of your tomatoes getting infected with tomato blight. But luckily in this video you will learn how to prepare your square foot gardening growing space that will allow you to grow the highest amount of tomatoes per square foot without increasing the chances of infecting your plants. You will learn how to take care of your tomatoes from planting, pruning, trellising and watering. This is why I am sure that by following this video until the end you will have the knowledge and the confidence to grow your tomatoes for the entire family. If you like this kind of content, please let me know by leaving a like. And if you aren't already subscribed, please do it now so you won't miss any gardening tips from me. So without further ado, let's dig into the main content. The first thing you need to know is how to prepare your square foot garden for your tomatoes. For that, you will need to choose the right soil that will have enough nutrients to grow that many tomatoes in such compacted layout and that will have good water drainage that will reduce the chance of molds on your tomatoes. For that you have two choices. One is the famous melts mix. So pit moss or coco coir mixed with perlite or vermiculite and compost, preferably homemade. This mix is great, wheat free, fluffy and with good drainage. On the other hand you can grow your tomatoes in a mix of topsoil and compost in a 1 by 1 ratio. This mixture would be a lot cheaper or practically free if you use your homegrown compost, like I did. The next step is to build a raised bed for them that will accommodate 4 very important add-ons that you need to grow your tomatoes that close together and minimize the chances of them getting infected by the blight. You can choose from many materials to build them, from corrugated iron to bricks, but I would recommend you to go with a more natural look. Wood. Build your raised beds 4 feet wide and as many feet long as you need, but I would advise you not to go longer than 12 feet, because you would need to walk quite a bit around. Once in place, you can make the first add-on, a hoop house cover with adjustable sides that will protect your tomatoes not only from the cold nights but also from the rain. But why would you protect your tomatoes from the rain? As I mentioned, if we want to grow tomatoes with the square foot gardening method, we need to watch out for tomato blight. The main source of infection is usually the soil surrounding your tomato plants that gets splashed on your tomato leaves in heavy rainstorms. Plus, the molds thrive in a hot and humid environment so having tomatoes close together, blocking airflow and allowing water to splash the soil on the leaves is not the best combination. By preventing the rain hitting your tomatoes and the surrounding ground we will drastically decrease the chances of infection. But we will make another problem. How will our tomatoes get the water now that we are protecting them from the rain? Will this mean that we will need to water our tomatoes every second day? Tomatoes love a steady supply of water, with some drought days in the middle. And if they don't have that, we can have several problems. From smaller root systems that won't extend in search of water if you water them every day, to tomato end rot that is usually caused with lack of water in the ground, and by that deficiency in calcium transportation to the tomato fruits. Fortunately, all this can be prevented with a smart and simple irrigation system made out of cheap clay pots. These clay pots will slowly release the water into the ground over a period of one week and then will let the soil dry for another week. 
so that the root system will grow in search of water. After that, we refill the clay pots, repeating the cycle. With this irrigation system that is cheap and easy to make, you will have a steady supply of water for your plants without having to water them every second day. Instead, you will refill them once every two weeks. And the best part is that you will need only one clay pot per four tomato plants. I will let you know later on exactly where to place it in the square foot grid. Another add-on that is important if you want to grow tomatoes close together is a tomato trellis system. This will allow you to grow your tomatoes vertically, reducing the space they need. You can have simple trellis systems where you just tie your tomato plants up some stakes. Or you can have strings attached to the top of your hoop house and then twine them around your tomato plants to secure them. I would not suggest you to go with some netting. I used it last year and it was messy. It could work fine if you have only few tomatoes growing in a single row, but growing them that close together certainly won't help. Now that you have your growing space in place, you have the majority of work done, and all it's left is to plant your tomatoes in the square foot grid, prune them so they won't interfere with one another, and trellis them when they grow. Before I will show you how it's all done, I'm asking you to leave a like on this video to let me know you found value in this content. So, tomato planting. The first thing you need to know is the required spacing for tomatoes. Square foot gardening recommends to plant one plant per four square foots if you grow them with tomato cages. But we won't do that. Instead, we'll use spacing of one plant per square foot. Here, we need to be careful because we can't use any tomato variety for this spacing. We need to pick indeterminate tomato plants that we will be able to prune and trellis them up on one stem. This variety of tomatoes will grow, as the name suggests, indeterminately, until the weather permits, in most cases up until the first average frost date will come. One trick you need to do if you want to grow your tomatoes in one square foot is to increase their nutrient absorption. As I mentioned, one step is to use a passive irrigation system. Another step is done right now, when you plant them. When planting, choose the plants with the longest stems and cut all the leaves from them, except the top crown, and plant them as deep as you can, so the top crown will be still an inch or so from the ground. Because tomatoes have presets for roots on their stems, planting them deep will increase the root growth up the stem. Having a bigger root system will allow your tomatoes to absorb more nutrients from the lower soil levels, thus increasing the nutrients at their disposal. So in the end your tomato plants will happily grow in just one square foot per plant. But will they? What about all the leaves and suckers that will grow on your main plant? Tomatoes are not designed to grow that close together. In their natural habitat, they sprout many side branches or suckers and have big leaf branches on them. All this additional foliage will decrease airflow growing through your plants, thus increasing the humidity and the end increasing the chance of tomato blight. But if you want to have them planted in just one square foot per plant, we need to solve this issue. And the best way to do it is by intensively pruning tomato plants. Luckily for us, this is a fairly simple process, once you get the habit of it. I have a whole dedicated video on how to prune tomato suckers and leaves, so I'll leave a link in the top right corner. But to make it short, you will need to prune all the suckers that will grow on your main stem. That's why our technique of pruning is called single stem pruning, where you leave only a single stem growing. The other thing you will need to do is prune all the leaves up to the first set of tomatoes, once your tomato plant is about 3 to 4 feet tall, and the first tomatoes are popping out. But remember, to always leave at least the top crown plus a set of two leaves. Pruning the suckers will eliminate all the side branches, increasing airflow, and pruning all the bottom leaves 
will decrease the chance of soil splashing the tomato leaves, thus reducing the chances of tomato blight infecting your plant. But I have another tip on pruning. If your leaf branches are growing from one tomato to another, cut the leaf branch in half. In that way you will still have some leaves on your tomato plants, producing the energy for it, but still have enough airflow going around them. Planting and pruning with this method will give your tomatoes so much energy directed in growing up a single stem, it is essential that you trellis them. Last year I traced them with some netting and it was a disaster. It was all too busy inside my tomato house, so I decided to switch to a new trellising system that requires only to twine tomatoes around the string. For now this technique proved to be successful and my tomatoes are strongly secured in place. I will make a video on the topic shortly, so make sure that you are subscribed so you won't miss it. For now you can extend your knowledge in growing tomatoes by the swear food gardening method by clicking on the video that pop on the screen. It will provide you additional information on tomato planting, tomato pruning, tomato watering and more. I hope you learned something new today and if you did, please share it with your friends so they learn it too. Happy gardening!